so uh the past few days have been very interesting um i've been experiencing a lot of power anyways sorry <laughs> distractions um i've been experiencing a lot of power and um also love at the same time but the uh what i mean by power is that like it's been <sighs> like i don't know i don't even know how to explain it other than just like expressing you know um and also i've been learning how to call on feelings goodness gracious I almost walked straight into a uh, spider web. Right, check this out. There's that big one too. Um, I'll just go this way. Anyways, so uh, what I've been experiencing has been profound and uh, interesting as well. <clears throat> uh, and basically, <laughs> um, it's been amazing, honestly. I like that, I like that view of the sun. Anyways, so I've been uh, doing a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with people and uh, experiencing emotions with them and uh, really attempting to connect with people through emotional work and through uh, showing people that expression is possible at any point in time, no matter what. And uh, one way that I do that is by using the breath with them, but I'll show you this, just. Mm -hmm. So the point is to allow the self to let go so that emotions can flow through fully um and the more that you do it the more that you will be able to allow yourself to be let go in order to experience um experiences that are outside of the self and what i mean by the self is the ego self and um, everything is the self but when it comes down to it there's an ego experience and then there's a observer who is observing the ego and when you focus your attention back into the self and you start to see the aspects of the self that you have been um, repressing or ignoring and then you start to understand that there is no such thing as a polarity in the reality of things and what that means is that even emotions and feelings and thoughts and forms and things like that that are experienced as being negative normally by the ego um, in reality have no negative charge and what that means is that they're completely open and they're able to be manipulated by um, the mind and the mind being this infinite consciousness. So as you start to shift the way that you look at things and you start to shift the way that you see all feelings, thoughts, and experiences, then what happens is that um, the experience of the self starts to change to where you start to understand that your entire experience, not just not just the things that you do, but also the emotions that you feel, the uh, the people that you experience, like the emotions that you feel from them as well. All of that stuff is created by you. And it's created by a part of you that really wants to connect to all levels of life. So there's a part of you that really wants to see what it feels like to feel separate. And to feel like, um, I guess, sadness, upset, anger, depression, power, manipulation, exploitation, control, all that kind of stuff. There is a part of the self that wants to experience all that. But there's also a part of the self that knows 
that it is infinite in its own scope and that in that infinite nature, what that means is that these emotions and feelings and thoughts and forms, like once you get to a point of experience where you start to master the self, then you start to understand that you don't have to experience anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. And the only way that you do that, or not the only way, but like what I mean is like the way that you that you switch that up, I guess, if you want to call it like that, and check this out. One. <sighs> so, um, but the only way that you really are able to, not, it's not the only way, but like one of, one of the quickest ways to be able to master or control the self is to learn how to call upon emotions immediately um, based on your want or desire so like I'd say I desire to feel a positive emotion right now so what do I do you see you see how that changed for a second too the light I mean on the throat it's because the uh, it's reflecting something so The point is to express, you see? And the point is to, to express in any way. So the creator really, it doesn't, it doesn't have preference. It doesn't have a preference between a positive expression, a negative expression, a good thing, a bad thing, um, a service to self, a service to others. It doesn't have an opinion on any of these things. It sees all expressions as being equally beautiful and valid. So that is the goal of this third density experience and also all experiences after that, all the way up through the sixth and more, is that the point is to experience everything and to see literally everything as being equally as valid and as beautiful and as loving as everything else. So I may be out in beautiful scenery right now, but this is also just as beautiful as any jail cell would be. Now, I'm not trying to say that I wanted to manifest that into an experience because I've already experienced that before in this lifetime, but I wasn't able to see that at that point. Now I am, so therefore I don't need that experience anymore. But the point is that that there's a there's a consciousness that you can sit in that's behind the self, and it's behind the when I say the self, I mean the ego. Um, but it's it's behind any sort of previous judgment, and it sees things not because of what it can give to you or what you can get from it. It sees it as an expression. And expression is the, expression is the beauty of life. The expression is what life is for. Life is an expression. Life is the expression of everything. And the perfection of expression is, is expressed through the beauty that lies before us but we have veiled ourselves from being able to see the beauty in a lot of ways because we wanted to exploit and manipulate external things in order to satisfy our internal needs and that is never possible because the external is just a reflection of the internal so if you don't see any beauty in the external world that's because you've lost the ability to see the beauty inside of yourself. And the more that you see the beauty inside of yourself, the more that you'll see it reflected in the external world. And what I mean by that is not that the external world is going to change to re reflect beauty, meaning like it's not like all the evil in the world is going to go away and all the people that are manipulating and exploiting and controlling people are just going to stop. 
No, that what it means is that you'll start to see them in a different light. And you'll start to see that that's also just as beautiful and of an expression of the creator as I am. And that's just as beautiful an expression as you are. And that's just as beautiful an expression as the um, Buddha or the Christ or any of these other Krishna, any of these, right? And the reason is because it's just as valid as any other expression. And when you start to see that, then what happens is that you start to lose judgment and you start to stop judging things and you start to stop judging yourself and you stop judging your external environment and you start to understand that you really do create your own internal condition. And what that means is that no matter what's going on in this external world, it doesn't matter because it has nothing to do with, with your consciousness, your consciousness state. It's just a reflection of your consciousness state. But it's not the thing that's that's causing your consciousness state. You see, you are the one who is expressing your own consciousness. So this is just a reflection. This life and this, this uh, dream, if you want to call it like that, is just a reflection of your own consciousness. So if you're seeing evil, sadness, depression, anger, all this stuff all around, then really go into the self and look into yourself, you know? Look into yourself and like find where the root of that is. But instead of getting upset ab about it and instead of uh, dwelling on it and instead of looking into it as something that is wrong with you, understand that that's just as valid of an expression as any other one and see the beauty in it. And then what happens is that that then turns the expression into a beautiful expression because that's, it's a reflection of your consciousness. So as soon as you love the things that are even ugly about yourself, all of a sudden they, they're not ugly anymore. They're beautiful because that love literally that you send to them makes them beautiful. You see? So it's like, it's that easy. It's really about changing your perspective on yourself and starting to really take in the love that is permeating everything by just focusing the attention on it and to, to stop focusing the attention on negative things and aspects of things because it's pointless. It, all it does is just, it, it ruminates you and it puts you in a space where you're just constantly back and forth with yourself and you're never able to actually experience what it, what's going on in front of you for what it is. And that's just as valid as, as any other expression too. So people go through their whole lives and they'll never see the love that, that permeates everything until the last five seconds of their life. And that five seconds literally is more beautiful than the entire life that they ever had. Why? Because they were able to let go their, of their guard right before they died. And they were able to actually allow themselves to see and experience the beauty that was inside of them and that was being reflected to them the entire time. They were so distracted and they were so caught up in the games that were being played outside of the self that they forgot that that was also a reflection of the self and that that game was literally just a game of consciousness for the self to be able to realize that it is, it is, it is in its own right. And once you realize that, then you realize that you're infinite consciousness and that you are God. And when you realize that, what that means is that you start to act like it. And what I mean by that is that you start to manufacture your own feelings because you are a creator in your own right. You're a creator of your own feelings. You're a creator of your own thoughts. You're a creator of your own reality. You're a creator of your own emotions. You're a creator of everything. You are the infinite creator. And in that lies beauty. In that lies truth as well. And truth, the only thing that truth entails is love and light. Why light? Because light is the manifestation of love. Love is a feeling. The creator is not formed. The creator feels, and that's it. It's like the, the creator is the feeling of love. So you know that feeling that you get, like say you go to sleep and all of a sudden there's nothing and then you wake up. That feeling of love right before is the feeling of the creator. Like basically like that, when you let go of everything and then all you feel is just like complete relaxation of everything. That is like the very minuscule level of love that is in the creator. And then, but the creator is, is, is so much more than that because it's infinite love. It's infinite love and infinite light. But the light comes after, the, or it doesn't come after, but the love is what created the light because out of love 
the light was created in order for us to experience this. But this is just an extended experience because in order to extend out the experience, we had to come up with a, a system of time and a system of, uh, of recording things, I guess, and memory, if you want to call it like that. But that's for another topic. The point that I'm getting to, though, is that you can manufacture your feelings for yourself. Um, your feelings are not, are not uh, subject to other people, to other places, other things. Uh, you're not subject to anything other than yourself. So you are the creator of your thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Um, but the thoughts are uh, co-created. So uh, just start to filter out the thoughts so that you can experience the thoughts that you enjoy instead of uh, having to experience all of the thoughts. And the way that you do that is literally just by focusing the attention on specific thoughts. So like you, you'll have a barrage of thoughts come through. I say, say 10 thoughts and one out of the 10 is positive. You have to choose to let go of all nine of those and to only focus the attention on that one. And then the next time you'll have eight thoughts that come through that are negative and you'll have maybe two that are positive. Focus the attention on the two that are positive and let go of the ones that are negative. Uh, no matter how gripping the story is, no matter how much you want to, uh, you want to believe it because it's trying to convince you because you know, oh, but I did this to this person and then this happened and then like blah, blah, blah. All that is uh, an illusion. That's all fantasy, okay? So your past is fantasy. Uh, your future is fantasy, all right? Uh, all, the only thing that's real is this present moment right now. And that reality is... That, that reality is. Um, the fact that we are experiencing... This is how you lose fear of death as well, uh, is that you just realize that you are experiencing no matter what. So the fact that you are even capable of of um, seeing that this is real, or like not even real, not, real is the wrong word. So the fact that you are literally conscious, right? Like the fact that you are conscious means that you are alive and you don't have to be conscious of physicality. Um, you'll realize once you get to a specific point that infinite consciousness, what that means is that when the physical world starts to shut down, all of a sudden, the only thing left is actual just consciousness. And what that, what that is, just a singular point of awareness and aware of what? Of itself. It's only aware of itself and like, it's nothing. It's literally just, it's formless consciousness just before manifestation and then in order to experience itself it had to manifest itself, manifest itself in form and then attempt to learn about itself through evolution but evolution is just the most efficient way of of being able to know the self so that all parts of the self were able to grasp uh together but anyways so i'm just going into random topics at this point so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this video up really quick and then i'll make another one later but uh, this has been pretty good, honestly, so I hope you guys got something from this, and I love you all, and thank you.